All living organisms are grouped and classified by shared genetic traits into kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. By grouping organisms by shared genetic traits, we better understand physiology and ecological needs, as well as the overall evolution of life in the oceans. This video tutorial is a glossary of common marine organism taxonomic classifications. Pause often to digest the information. Apply it regularly to help it sink in. The bacteria kingdom includes single-celled prokaryotes with a single chromosome. These bacteria reproduce asexually and exhibit high metabolic diversity. Their roles in the ocean include producing food through photosynthesis or chemosynthesis, converting nitrogen gas into nitrates, which is the necessary form used by most marine autotrophs, and helping to decompose dead organisms. Bacteria can be heterotrophs or autotrophs. An example we discussed in the Life on Earth video tutorial is a type of cyanobacteria that created mounds we know as stromatolites. The Archae kingdom is superficially similar to bacteria, but with genes capable of producing different kinds of enzymes. They are also single-celled prokaryotes. They can be heterotrophs and autotrophs. They include most organisms known as extremophiles, as they often live in environments with extreme conditions, such as high temperatures near hydrothermal vents, or high acidity, such as in sulfuric acid-rich caves in Mexico. Prokaryotic organisms were the first organisms to evolve on our planet 3.8 billion years ago, and it's likely chemosynthetic archaea were the very first. Bacteria and archaea are collectively prokaryotes, and they are distinguished from eukaryotes which evolved after them by their lack of a nucleus and other more advanced cell components. Eukaryotic organisms evolved about 1 to 2 billion years ago. They have a nucleus, and can sexually reproduce. Pause now. There are four kingdoms of eukaryotes. The Protista kingdom consists of eukaryotic, single-celled colonial and multicellular autotrophs, and single-celled heterotrophs. They include diatoms, coccolithophores, dinoflagellates, foraminiferans, radiolarians, and all kelp and seaweeds. All single-celled eukaryotic heterotrophs and autotrophs are known as protista. Multicelled protista include kelp and seaweeds. You will need to classify these protista further according to the accessory pigments they contain using the following three phyla. The chlorophytophyllum, or green algae, contain multicellular autotrophs with no pigments other than chlorophyll, though they may contain many different chlorophyll pigment types. These organisms include sea strings, sea lettuce, and ocean pincushion. The phyophyta phylum, or brown algae, contain multicellular autotrophs with chlorophyll and an accessory brown pigment. These include all kelp, oak blade kelp, feather boa kelp, giant kelp, bullwick kelp, sea palms, and rockweed. The rhodophytophyllum, or red algae, contain multicellular autotrophs with chlorophyll and an accessory red pigment, and include encrusting and articulated coralline algae, brillopad algae, Neptune's washcloth, sea sacs, iridescent algae, and nori. The plantae kingdom also consists of photosynthetic multicelled autotrophs, however these evolved from green algae. Plants are primarily terrestrial and have seeds, roots, and leaf-bearing shoots. They conduct all their gas exchange through leaves. Waxy coating on leaves prevents excessive water loss, and hardening of cell walls of woody tissues provide them support on land. The only division found in the marine environment are flowering plants that include grasses and mangroves. If you are a single-celled eukaryotic autotroph or heterotroph, you are part of the protista kingdom. However, if you are a multi-celled autotroph, you can be either a protista or a plant. What's the difference? Plants are only found where there are soils. They are associated with the land. They have roots, covered seeds, and usually flower. They have a more rigid body to handle the lack of water support. 
The only plants in the marine environment are grasses and mangrove trees found along the edges of estuaries. Most autotrophs we discuss in terms of the marine environment will be protista. Pause now. The fungi kingdom consists of multicelled heterotrophs that live in their food and their own digestive juices. They consist of mushrooms, molds, and lichen, and are all decomposers. There are no fungi in the marine environment, so we will not discuss them any further in this class. The animalia kingdom consists of multicellular eukaryotic heterotrophs that don't live in their food as fungi do. Just to quickly review the five kingdoms, Single-celled organisms can be found in the archae, bacteria, and protista kingdoms. Multicelled can also be found in the protista kingdom, as well as the fungi, plant, and animal kingdoms. Heterotrophs can be found in all kingdoms except plants. Autotrophs can be found in all kingdoms except animals and fungi. As you can see from this slide, there are many marine phyla found in the oceans. We are choosing a small selection of these to highlight in this video tutorial. The periphera phylum consists of all sponges. They are the simplest of all marine animals, sessile, porous filter feeders with no nervous, digestive, respiratory, or circulatory systems. Diffusion of wastes, nutrients, and gases occurs in and out cell walls. There are separate holes for the in and the out. Water is drawn into the pores by beating of flagellated cells inside the body. Body walls are supported by spicules made of glass or calcium carbonate. Sponges can filter 3,000 times their body volume each day. Pause now. The Cnidaria phylum consists of jellyfish and their kin. All are equipped with stinging cells and display radial symmetry. The only opening is a mouth. Cnidaria are shaped like hollow pouches with tentacles lining the hollow opening or digestive cavity. Diffusion moves waste and gas. They have no excretory or circulatory system. They reproduce by fission of polyps the sessile form, think of a jellyfish stuck on a rock with its mouth pointing up, or by producing medusa forms, the jellyfish-like planktonic forms, which swim away, produce sperm and eggs, which then combine to create a new polyp. The polyp forms often live in colonies. Cnidaria include jellyfish, sea anemones, and coral. Pause now. The Bryzoa phylum contains the most widespread and numerous sessile marine animals. They are small, encrusting colonial animals that live inside conjoined calcite square boxes or houses. All Bryzoans have lophophores, a circular structure spirally wound and lined around its entire perimeter with ciliated tentacles. Bryzoans all have U-shaped digestive tracts, no heads, and our filter feeders. From the outside, bryzoans look a lot like corals, cnidarians that also live in colonies built of calcium carbonate houses, but bryzoans are far more advanced and have no stinging cells. In addition, in coral communities, the polyps themselves are conjoined. In bryzoan colonies, they are not. Pause now. <laughs> The mollusca phylum consists of 58,000 marine species. They are soft-bodied, usually protected by a hard calcium carbonate shell. There are three parts to the body, a muscular foot, usually used for movement, a visceral mass containing most of the internal organs, and a mantle, a fold of tissue that drapes over the visceral mass and secretes a shell if one is present. Many mollusks have toothed radula used for digging holes in rocks, removing algae from rocks, or drilling through shells. Most also have gills for gas exchange. Mollusks also have obvious heads, 
flow through digestion, and a well-developed nervous system. Most have separate sexes with gonads, ovaries, or testes. There are four classes of mollusks. Class Polyplacophora consists of mollusks whose shell has eight articulated plates and whose head is reduced. These are also called chitons. Class Gastropoda consists of mollusks with an asymmetric body plan, usually with a coiled shell. One. The foot cannot attach to sand or mud. The radula rasps across rocks, kelp stipes, or surfaces, scraping off food. Gastropods include 43,000 species of snails, limpets, abalones, sea slugs, and nudibranchs, which have no shells. Class bivalvia consists of mollusks enclosed in twin shells. They have a reduced head and are mostly filter feeders with paired gills. Some use their foot to dig into sand and mud. Their mantle forms siphons that extend to obtain water and eject waste. There are 13,000 species of bivalves, including clams, oysters, scallops, and mussels. Class Cephalopoda consists of mollusks with a head surrounded by its foot, which is divided into tentacles. Stiff adhesion discs on these tentacles, suction cups, are used to catch prey. The radula is modified into a sharp beak that tears and bites. Shells are reduced, absent, or internal. Locomotion is by jet propulsion using a siphon made from the mantle. There are 450 species of cephalopods, including squid, octopus, nautiloids, and cuttlefish. Pause now. The arthropoda phylum consists of animals with a segmented body of two or three parts. There are three or more pairs of legs, jointed appendages, including pincers, mouth parts, walking legs, and swimming appendages, and two pairs of sensory antennae. They are bilaterally symmetrical with an exoskeleton, striated muscles, and a head with a pair of eyes. Arthropoda are the most successful of all animal phyla and include copepods, barnacles, krill, isopods, amphipods, shrimp, lobsters, and crabs. Pause now. The Annelidophyllum also consists of segmented, bilaterally symmetrical organisms. In these worms, however, each segment has its own circulatory, excretory, nervous, muscular, and respiratory systems. Some segments are specialized, such as the head. There are 5,400 species in the oceans, including most tube worms and the feather duster worm. Pause now. The Echinodermata phylum consists of spiny-skinned, benthic, radially symmetrical animals. Most have a water vascular system, a network of hydraulic canals branching into extensions called tube feet that are used to move, feed, and exchange gases. Internal and external parts radiate from the body center, often as five spokes. A thin skin covers an endoskeleton of hard calcareous plates. Most echinoderm are prickly from skeletal bumps and spines. They lack eyes or a brain. There are 6,000 species, including sea stars, brittle stars, basket stars, sea urchins, sand dollars, sea biscuits, and sea cucumbers. Pause now. The Chordatophyllum consists of 45,000 species of animals that share in common a few structures that appear at some point during their lifetime. A notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord, gill slits, and a muscular postanal tail. This phylum consists of two subphylum. Subphylum Eurochordata consists of mostly sessile filter feeders. Some are colonial. 
Each organism is covered by a tunic with two openings, one for water in and the other for water out. Eurocordata possess a notochord only in their larval forms. They include sea squirts, tunicates, and salps. Subphylum vertebrata consists of chordata that retain their notochords. Pause now. Subphylum vertebrata include the following classes. Class Agnatha, or jawless fish, consists of 50 species of fish with no jaws, a cartilaginous skeleton, and a rasping tongue. They have no paired appendages, and include lampreys and hagfish. Class Chondrichthyes, or cartilaginous fish, consists of fish with a cartilaginous skeleton and jaws. Gas exchange happens through gills. They use internal fertilization and produce either eggs or give live birth. They have acute senses, including lateral lines that pick up electrical signals and movements in the water. They have paired fins, no swim bladder, and gill slits. They consist of sharks, skates, rays, sawfish, and chimera. Class Ostychthyus, or bony fish, consists of fish with hard, strong, lightweight, bony skeletons, paired fins and jaws. An operculum covers their gills. Most have external fertilization and lay large numbers of eggs. Gas exchange happens through gills. Many have swim bladders. Bony fish include salmon, tuna, sea bass, anchovies, eels, sea dragons and seahorses, and many more. Pause now. Class Reptilia consists of four-limbed chordates with scaly skin. Gas exchange happens via lungs. They lay amniotic-shelled eggs or give live birth. They are cold-blooded. Special salt glands concentrate and excrete excess salt from body fluids. Except for one turtle species, they require warm waters. They include sea snakes, crocodiles, and sea turtles. Class Aves, or birds, consists of four-limbed chordates with feathers. Four limbs are modified as wings. Gas exchange also happens through lungs. They have internal fertilization, breed on land, and lay eggs on land. They also produce shelled amniotic eggs. They have acute vision and are warm-blooded. They include penguins, gulls, pelicans, albatross, petrels, puffins, and many more. Pause now. Class Mammalia consists of warm-blooded four-limbed chordates whose young are nourished from mammary glands of their mothers. They have hair, a diaphragm that ventilates their lungs, and mostly give live birth that develops within an amniotic sac. There are 4,300 marine species, and all evolved from land mammals, having returned to the sea 30 to 40 million years ago. Mammals consist of these orders. Order Cetacea, or whales, consists of 79 species. They all have fish-shaped bodies, paddle-like forelimbs, no hind limbs, and a thick layer of insulating blubber. They consist of two suborders. Suborder Odontoceti, or toothed whales, are predators that have teeth. They consist of pilot whales, beluga whales, killer whales, dolphins, porpoises, sperm whales, and narwhales. Suborder Mysticeti, or baleen whales, have no teeth. Instead, they have plates of baleen that hang from their upper jaw that they use to filter food out of the water. Most have a dorsal fin and a grooved, distendable throat. They consist of gray whales, humpback, fin, say, blue, brides, minke, black right, and bowhead whales. Order Sirenia, or sea cows, consist of grass-eating mammals that live in mangrove swamps and possess fin-like forelimbs with no hind limbs. They consist of manatees and dugongs. Order Carnivora consists of carnivorous mammals that possess sharp, pointed canine teeth and molars for shearing and clawed toes. They consist of two suborders. 
Suborder Pinnipedia consists of flipper-footed carnivora that can safely come out on land to rest, breed, and give birth. They have a thick insulating blubber and consist of seals, sea lions, and walruses. Suborder Fissipedia consists of toe-footed carnivora with no blubber. Warmth comes from thick fur. They include sea otters and polar bears. Pause now. Pause now. For more information and more detail, continue on to the next video in this series. Thank you.